problems there appear to be already, won't they get worse? Your party still deliberating over a possible congestion charge for the city of Cambridge? Well, again, what it shows is the difference between a party that takes the issue seriously and tries to find solutions, and I'm afraid the Conservatives, who nationally suggest that we have more growth, and then locally oppose what well, you need to do to make Well, on that, can, can you give us a final answer, because we're having trouble getting one. Do you support a congestion charge or not? I've always supported a better transport system for Cambridge. And what, I, what, what I've always said alongside that is you can't charge until you've got that good system in place. It's a complicated issue. We've got to make space for the buses on the roads. But what I'm not hearing from the other parties is any solutions, just opposition and gripes. And that and, doesn't and, work. And yet, as you know, there was a by-election at King's Hedges in Cambridge just last week, and the Conservatives won the seat. And it appeared to many that that congestion charge was the issue that turned it. Well, as, as we, we absolutely know, and we've had a big consultation, and as you will know, Chris, it's been discussed many times, People, many people did not like it, which is why the councillors have gone away to look at it again. And I don't, no, I'm not, absolutely, that, that scheme is gone. The question is, what do we do next? We've got to have a decent transport system, and we've got to find a way of making that work. And I've, I've been talking about this on your programme for the best part of 20 years. Daniel Zeichner, thank you. The Labour MP for Cambridge.